What's going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Adrian and today I'm playing Mental. This is a game made by the developer of Happy Lab, which I played not too long ago and I thoroughly enjoyed, so I'm ready to see what this one's all about. Put him in the machine. I guess I can do that. I can try at least. Set it to erase mode. Well, that just seems a little bit mean. Let the erasure process begin. Listen, okay, we're starting off on a bad foot. You telling me what to do here. So here we are. Already the music is very unsettling, I gotta say. Is there any kind of flashlight situation here, my dude? That's my number one thing that I would like, is a flashlight. I would love one of those. It would make my life so much easier, so much less stressful. And a very steep staircase, here we go. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit worried right off the bat. You're kind of throwing me in here, making me nervous with this music. And now there's a red glow, really? I, that's what I have to look forward to now. It's over this way. Ooh, <laughs> this does not look like a good idea by any stretch of the imagination, and this is a dead end. I do have a stamina bar, which also makes me incredibly nervous. <laughs> that's never a good sign in a horror go. <laughs> Okay, well, there I go. I'm down now. I'm down bad. I guess I'm just gonna keep pushing. Because there's nothing else to do. Whoa. This is pretty cool. Pretty nifty looking. Ah, uh, okay, well. And here I am. Why have you dropped me into pure blood? That's not okay. I don't know whose blood that is. It could be a combination of multiple people's blood. That's horrifying. Or a buying is what I said. E. And now I have a flashlight, but it has. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Okay, this isn't good. It has a battery left. Oh wait, it recharges. Oh, okay, we're good then. All is well, until something happens to make that not the case. That is locked, of course. So I'm definitely gonna have to find some kind of key. Ooh. I am nervous, man. I am very nervous. And what do we have here? Whoa. What is that? Ooh, I almost totally missed that. Okay, I'm... I almost totally missed that. Okay, let's go over here. I'm pretty sure this was a key. Yeah, look at me, dude. Oh, yeah. And I can see. And I'm going directly towards the area where that monster was, is what you're telling me. <gasps> oh. <sighs> I can't even get in there. That was literally just a jump scare. That's all it was. That's all it was. Okay, let me just sit here and wait for my flashlight to Move recharge. It. So that's how you're going to do me, huh? That's what you're going to do to me. Blocked off over here. Let's keep pushing. What the hell? What is this place? It's kind of wild and wacky and interesting down here and I just jump <laughs> I can jump in this game I don't know why I would have to and what the deal is what I need to be doing but I doubt it has anything to do with going any of the directions that I'm going all right well I'm blocked off here so I got to turn this flashlight off let it recharge and walk because I I need to conserve my stamina here I don't know what's going on with me I don't know why I'm always so gung-ho about going directly into danger <laughs> with no inhibitions but here I am all right, let's continue walking. I need my stamina fully charged. I assume at some point, what was that red light? What is that? You have me confused, man. And there's some kind of trail of dark matter. I don't know. I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm a little bit weirded out by this game right now. It's kind of creepy. There's some tar all over the floor and I'm following it. There's a trail of it for whatever reason. This does not seem like the proper idea, dude. In a situation like this, what am I seeing? Every time I've seen something big, bright, and glowy like this, it was important, so. I activated something. And there's not much I can do about it exactly right now because I need light. And there we go. So I don't think that did anything for up here necessarily. Yeah, no, let's go back. I'm assuming maybe I opened something up. I'm very nervous. Now that I activated whatever the hell it is that I activated, I'm very nervous. I know for a fact a jump scare is coming. It's just a matter of when. It's only a matter of time. It's all right, guys. I'm on the case. Yep, I had a feeling it was this, so we're good. Let's keep pushing. 
The thing I like about this is that it's really direct. Oh, there you are. Um, <laughs> I didn't see you right away, so it didn't scare me as bad. It still scared me, but it didn't scare me as bad. I don't know what's going to happen here, man. I don't know what I need to do. I'm very confused and worried. And now I have somebody chasing me, so that's always a good plus. The good thing is the monster doesn't seem very fast or accurate in its attempt to attack me. So I'm going to go over here. Was this a bad move? I'm like submerged at this point. I have a feeling I'm not going to have what I need to get out of here. I have a feeling there's quite a bit more involving the monster that I'm going to have to deal with. And oh. Whoa! <laughs> I'm here now. I don't have a flashlight anymore. And there are sounds coming from the sky. I can fall off. I don't know why I even tried to test it. Do, am I going to have to jump? I don't think so. What? Okay, I'm here now. Interesting. Dude, this is wild. Ooh, I'm now here. <laughs> I am confused and worried. I'm going to just walk until I get my stamina back. <laughs> Probably not a good idea that I'm using this. There's no time. His body will fail mentally. What? We still want to find out his name, who he is, and where he's staying. The monster? I don't care about any of that. I'm glad I'm away from it. Now he has no memories. I think it's the worst thing that can happen to you. You know, that is pretty rough. To have no memories anymore? That would be pretty wild. Now wake him up. I would rather not. That spells danger. And that was it. Not too shabby. Definitely a lot less in depth than the other game that I played by this dev, but this game is older than that one. Again, this game was very direct, very straightforward, didn't waste any of my time. I appreciate that in a game. I will say the atmosphere to this game was really good. It had me very worried pretty much the entire time, but some of the jump scares, even though they were nicely placed, I feel like they're a little easy to miss. One of them I almost missed completely where he was like walking in front of me past that cage and I almost looked away, luckily, at the last second I saw the thing. But the second one, I would say the noise kind of scared me a little bit. And then I walked out and I saw the monster there. I think it would be a little bit more, I don't know, prominent if the monster were the forefront of that particular jump scare. But either way, I'm not going to fault it at all. This was a great game. It was very enjoyable, very spooky and jump scared me a couple times. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this and you want to try this out for yourselves, I'll be sure to leave the link down below in the description as always. Otherwise, that's going to be it for me. Thanks everyone so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate every last one of you for taking the time out of your day to come to this channel and show me some support. It means the world to me and you all mean the world to me. Just knowing that there are people out there who enjoy what I'm doing on this channel warms my heart so much and is the exact thing that keeps me going here on this channel. If you did happen to enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button down below. Don't be afraid to leave me a comment. Let me know how you feel. Smack that subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take it easy.